Following with the decision of Ecuador's constitutional court, the impeachment process now returns to the National Assembly for it to move forward. Let's see how this process has sticks to first accuse the president of Guillermo Lasso of a corruption charge has been processing. The ruling of Judge Richard Ortiz declaring the admissibility of the impeachment trial against the head of state was approved by the Constitutional Court. A key element for the approval was the vote in favor of at least six of the nine members of said body. Initially, the court appointed Judge Teresa Núñez, who, on Monday, delivered a draft proposal suggesting the court not to admit the impeachment trial. However, her proposal only received three votes in favor, meaning it was not approved. The recently approved proposal will now go to the National Assembly, whose president, Virgilio Saquicela, will present it before the Legislative Board of Directors within three days so the process can officially begin. The Legislative Body will then forward it to the Oversight Committee of the Parliament, which will notify President Guillermo Lasso so he can exercise his right to a defense and present his response to the accusations. The plenary will debate and finally make a decision. If it reaches 92 votes in favor, which constitutes a qualified majority of the Assembly members, Lasso will be impeached and removed from his duty as head of state. In addition, he will not be able to hold public office for the following two years. This is the first time in more than 90 years that an Ecuadorian president is the subject of an impeachment trial. The original request reached the court on March 24th after the National Assembly approved a report accusing him of corruption in a series of shady businesses within public companies.